This screencast shows basic usage of Hydra. First start by launching Hydra from the Finder by double-clicking its icon. The welcome window appears. Just select the default option for now. Photographies taken by cameras have a smaller dynamics than the human eye. Hydra is an application that allows to build images that are closer to what you see in real life. The process consists of taking a multiple photos of the same scene with different exposure settings, then compute an HER image from these photos in Hydra. An empty document is created for you into which you can add images in Hydra by drag and dropping them in the document window. Hydra supports up to four images as inputs. Hydra automatically sorts the images based on their relative luminosity. You can see individual images by clicking their icon in the list. As photos are generally taken without a tripod, they generally do not match pixel-wise. For this reason, Hydra offers the possibility of matching them, either manually or automatically. In this example, we will do it manually. Select the Match option from the Info panel, then click on the lamp to add a first reference point. We'll add two more reference points by clicking in the Trees area. Then bring the Matching panel by clicking the Adjust Matching button. There you can move the relative position of reference points in individual images to specify the corresponding features of each image. Use Tab to move to another point. Uncheck a point if you cannot locate it because the image is too dark. You can see that moving a point from there causes an interactive distortion of the images until they match. The next thing to do is to adjust blending. Blending controls how the various images are combined to make the final result. Click on Blending from the Info panel, and adjust the handles in the histogram view until you are satisfied. This modifies the influence of individual images. Smoothing and blending sliders can also be adjusted. They are covered in more details in another screencast. You can then render the final HER image at full resolution by clicking the Render HER button and eventually export it to iPhoto. Thanks for listening.